Hello we will talk today about the benefits of guarana. The guarana, is it good? Find out if it's worth using consume guarana I in your day. And yours 5 health benefits of guarana powder. And its side effects of excessive consumption. Guarana, scientific name, Polinia cubana, commonly called Garanizero and guarana, is a vine native to the Amazon. It is found in Brazil, Peru, Colombia, and Venezuela, being cultivated mainly in the municipality of Maas, state of Amazonas, and in Bahia. It belongs to the Sapindaceae family. Hello friend, and friend we want to have as much information as possible to help people who have health problems or other reasons in their emotional life and to have good health and where the change in our healthy eating begins, which many are unaware of its benefits. Thank you very much and help this knowledge reach these people. Greetings and welcome to Nature of the Amazon channel, I ask you to subscribe and activate the bell leave yours. Lay to strengthen the channel and share it with your friends and family so they can get to know our history of knowledge and let's go by video. Etymology The name Polinia was attributed by Linnaeus to the genus to which Guarana belongs, in honor of the physician and botanist German Simon Pauli. Guarana comes from the Tupi Warana. Description its leaves are trifoliate. The flowers are small and white. Its fruit has a large amount of caffeine, called garane when found in guarana, and, due to its stimulant properties, it is used in the manufacture of syrups, bars, powders and soft drinks. It has a red rind and, when ripe, it shows the white pulp and its seeds, resembling eyes. In the region near the municipality of Maas, where it is cultivated, the Indians of the Satirma nation have legends about the origin of the plant. In Portugal, Guarana soft drinks have been produced since the late 1990s, initially imported from Brazil. The world's best-selling Guarana soft drink is Guarana Antarctica, produced since April 1921 in Brazil. Scientific Classification Kingdom, Plant Division, Magnoliophyta Class, Magnoliopsid Order, Sapindales. Family, Sapindaceae. Genre, Paulinia. Species, P. cupana. Binomial name. Paulinia cupana. Fruit. In botanical terms, the fruit is the organ that precedes the flower, formed by the maturation of one or more ovaries, usually after fertilization. Other parts of the flower besides the ovary, such as the calyx, hypanthium, or floral receptacle, often also participate in fruit formation. Fruits are the means by which flowering plants, angiosperms, spread their seeds. The fruit is one of the adaptations, along with the flowers, that have contributed to the evolutionary success of angiosperms. The variety of fruit types that angiosperms developed throughout their evolution allowed them to invade and conquer all possible terrestrial habitats. In gymnosperms and flowerless plants there are no true fruits, although certain reproductive structures such as pine cones are commonly interpreted as fruits. Origin and Development The fruits derive from the maturation of the ovary of one or more flowers. The gynoecium, female reproductive organ of the flower, which contains the carpels, formed by stigma, style and ovary, is located in the center of the flower and forms all or part of the fruit. The eggs are situated inside the ovary, where a complex sequence of double fertilization begins. This process involves the union of a female gametophyte, megagametophyte, also called an embryo sac, with two male gametes, sperm. It begins when a pollen grain adheres to the stigma of the carpal, the female reproductive structure of a flower. The pollen grain then absorbs moisture and begins to germinate, forming a pollen tube that extends through the style to the ovary. The tip of the pollen tube then enters the ovary and penetrates through the micropyle opening in the ovum. The pollen tube releases the two sperm into the megagametophyte. Within the megagametophyte one sperm unites with the egg, forming a zygote, while the second sperm enters the central cell forming the endosperm mother cell, which completes the process of double fertilization. Later the zygote will give rise to the seed embryo, and the endosperm mother cell will give rise to the endosperm, a nutritive tissue used by the embryo. As the ovules develop into seeds, the ovary begins to mature and the ovary wall, the pericarp, 
may become fleshy, as in berries or droops, or it may form a hard outer covering, as in walnuts. In some multi-seeded fruits, the extent to which a fleshy structure develops is proportional to the number of fertilized eggs. 4. The pericarp is typically differentiated into three distinct layers, these are called exocarp, outer layer, also called epicarp, mesocarp, middle layer, and endocarp, inner layer. In some fruits, the sepals, petals, stamens, and or the style of the flower fall off as the fleshy fruit ripens. However, for single fruits derived from an inferior ovary, that is, one that lies below the attachment of other floral parts, there are parts, including petals, sepals, and stamens, that fuse with the ovary and mature with it. In this case, when flower parts other than the ovary form a significant part of the developing fruit, it is called a pseudofruit or accessory fruit. As various parts of the flower besides the ovary can contribute to the structure of a fruit, it is important to study the structure of the flower to understand how a particular fruit forms. There are three general modes of fruit development. Apocarpic fruits develop from a single flower with a dialocarpular ovary, while having one or more separate, unfused carpels. Syncarpic fruits develop from a single dinoecium of a flower with a gamocarpular ovary, with two or more fused carpels. Multiple fruits form from an inflorescence of flowers. Fossil records hyperlink https colon slash slash pt dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash f percent sign c three percent sign b three ssal backslash o fossil. The first fruits were just carpular leaves, like those found in gymnosperms, but closed over the seeds, forming follicles. The simplest fruits in current species have a similar structure, follicular, but the most common are fruits formed by the combination of several carpels joined together. Effects of ingestion. Horana is a stimulant, it increases resistance in mental and muscular efforts and reduces motor and psychic fatigue. Through the xanthines it has, caffeine and theobromine, horana produces greater speed and clarity of thought. However, if ingested in excess, it causes side effects such as insomnia, irritability, tachycardia, heartburn and physical dependence. The Legend of Gorana The Mundakuracania tribes were the most prosperous of the Indians. They won all the wars, the fisheries were great, the fish were the best and the disease was rare. All this because of a Kiruman who, a few years ago, was born in that tribe. He was the most protected of them all. In fishing, he was accompanied by many fishermen diverted piranhas, caimans or any other danger from the rivers. But one day, all security left, the evil genius appeared in the form of a rattlesnake and wounded the boy. The tribe fell into lamentation and despair. Tupa, the god of the Indians, answered all that lament and said, Take your eyes off the kirumam and plant it on solid ground, water it with tears for four moons and the plant of life will be born there, it will give strength to the young and invigorate the old. The shamans did not hesitate, they gouged out and planted the kirumam's eyes and watered them with tears for four moons. A new plant grew there, mischievous like children, with dark stems and furrowed like the muscles of the tribe's warriors. And when it fructified, its jet-black fruits, wrapped in a white arrow with two bright red capsules. The Indians said. It's the multiplication of the prince's eyes. And the fruit brought progress to the tribe. He helped the old man and gave more strength to the warriors. 4. Properties. Warana is rich in functional substances, including caffeine, theobromine, theophylline, among others. Some effects attributed to the consumption of guarana are that it is an aphrodisiac, has tonic action, is astringent, febrifuge, diuretic and serves for physical and mental fatigue, immunostimulant, antioxidant, fights obesity and improves blood pressure, etc. 5. Theophylline and theobromine have a bronchoprotective effect, immunomodulatory and anti-inflammatory action, delaying the aging process and inhibiting the deposition of cholesterol in the arteries, allowing better blood irrigation throughout the body. Kaskaski et al., 2005. Consumption of guarana increases daily caloric expenditure and decreases appetite by maintaining stable blood glucose levels, thus combating obesity. It is rich in catechin which is a substance that fights free radicals, having an antioxidant effect, preventing aging. Guarana Powder Nutritional Information Percent DV, Asterisk
Calories, energy value, 66.00 kilocalories, 3.3%. Net carbs, 16.50 g. Carbohydrates, 16.50 g, 5.5%. Proteins, 0.00 g, 0%. Nutritional information of. Guarana Antarctica soda can 269 milliliters. 350 g portion. Quantity per serving. Caloric value, 145 kilocalories, 7. Carbohydrates, 36 g, 12. Proteins, 0 g, 0. Total fat, 0 g, 0. Caloric value, 145 kilocalories. Carbs, 36 g. Total fat, 0 g. Sodium, 20 mg. Nutritional information. Portion of 10 g, 1 tablespoon. Amount per serving, percent dv star. Energy value, 37.35 kcal equals 156.27 kj, 1.86. Energy value, 37 kilocalories equals 156.27 kj. Total fat, 0.27 g. Trans fats, 0 g. 101.85 mg. Beverage industrialization process. The fruit syrup processing process began in Brazil in 1905 by Luis Pereira Barreto, a physician from the city of Resend, Rio de Janeiro. Guarana Cirilla was launched by F. Diefenhaller, a soft drink factory in Santa Maria, Rio Grande do Sul. The drink was initially astringent and markedly bitter, so it didn't spread widely. Antarctica developed a process to eliminate astringency and bitterness, highlighting the characteristic bouquet of the fruit and, in 1921, created Guarana Champagne Antarctica by the homonymous company. In Serbia and other Eastern European countries, a guarana-based energy drink is made, marketed under this name, but which, instead of having a sweet soda taste, has a bitter taste and cardio-accelerating effect. The 5 Health Benefits of Guarana Powder Guarana powder is made from guarana seeds and has benefits such as increasing alertness and attention, improving mood and stimulating the burning of fat in the body, being an excellent option to give more mood for training and for slimming diets. Guarana powder can be found in capsules or powder, in addition to being present in several thermogenic supplements. The recommended amount is 2 to 5 G per day, as its excessive consumption can bring side effects such as insomnia, mood swings and heart palpitations. The 5 Benefits of Guarana Powder 1. Increased Training Performance Guarana powder increases disposition and alertness, which generates greater dedication when training. In addition, it delays the feeling of fatigue, especially in long-term exercises, allowing greater dedication and effort in training or competition. 2. Promote weight loss. The use of guarana powder helps to reduce weight as it is rich in caffeine and antioxidants that accelerate metabolism and favor the use of fat as fuel for the body. In addition, it has a hunger-reducing effect, staving off the urge to eat between meals. However, it is important to remember that this effect is enhanced when guarana powder is used together with a balanced diet and regular physical activity. 3. Increase concentration to study. Because it contains caffeine and substances such as theobromine and theophylline, guarana powder helps to increase concentration, reasoning, and alertness for greater dedication in studies and attention during tests. However, it is important that the powder is consumed only during the day as its consumption at night can lead to insomnia. 4. Improve mood. Guarana powder stimulates the production of the hormones dopamine and serotonin, which are linked to increased feelings of well-being, improving mood. This is due both to the presence of caffeine and its high content of antioxidants, which improve the functioning of the central nervous system. 5. Control cholesterol and triglycerides. Guarana powder is rich in flavonoids and saponins, substances with strong antioxidant power that help reduce bad cholesterol and increase good cholesterol, and some studies also show its benefit in controlling triglycerides. In addition, it is rich in pectin, a fiber that stimulates greater elimination of fat in the stool, which also helps reduce cholesterol. Recommended amount 
The recommended dose of guarana powder to obtain its beneficial effects without health risks varies according to weight, but it should be between 0.5G and 5G for healthy adults, and its use is not recommended for children, pregnant women, and the elderly. Side Effects of Excessive Consumption Excessive consumption of guarana powder can bring side effects linked to excess caffeine, which causes symptoms such as anxiety, restlessness, mood swings, tremors, loss of appetite, muscle tension, and heart palpitations. These effects are due to the high caffeine content consumed through guarana powder and are known as caffeinism. To solve caffeinism, you should stop consuming guarana and other foods rich in caffeine, such as coffee, cola, teas, and chocolate. What is guarana and how to use it? Guarana is a plant widely used to help treat headaches, depression, physical and mental fatigue, diarrhea, muscle pain, stress, sexual impotence, stomach pain and constipation due to its medicinal properties such as energy, diuretic, analgesic, anti-hemorrhagic, stimulant, anti-diarrheal, tonic, Guarana can also be used to relieve the symptoms of hemorrhoids, migraines, cramps, and help in weight reduction, as it increases fat metabolism. This plant has some properties similar to green tea, mainly because it is rich in catechins, which are antioxidant substances. How to use guarana The parts used for guarana are its seeds or fruits in powder form to make teas or juices, for example. Guarana tea for tiredness, dilute 4 teaspoons of guarana in 500 milliliters of boiling water and let it rest for 15 minutes. Drink 2 to 3 cups a day. Guarana powder mix, this powder can be mixed with juices and water and the recommended amount for adults is 0.5 g to 5 g per day, depending on the indication of a herbalist. In addition, guarana can also be sold in the form of capsules, which must be ingested according to the doctor's advice. Also recommended not to mix guarana in drinks that are stimulants, such as coffee, chocolate drinks and cola extract-based soft drinks, as these drinks can greatly increase the effect of guarana. Main Side Effects Guarana is a medicinal plant that normally does not cause side effects, however, if consumed in excess, it can cause an increase in heart rate, leading to the sensation of palpitation, agitation and tremors. Some substances present in guarana, called methylxanthines, can also cause stomach irritation and increase the volume of urine. The caffeine contained in guarana can worsen anxiety symptoms and cause insomnia, so it is not recommended to use it at night. What are the contraindications? The use of guarana is contraindicated for pregnant women, breastfeeding women, children and people with high blood pressure, kidney disease, pituitary hyperfunction, gastritis, clotting disorders, hyperthyroidism or with psychological disorders such as anxiety or panic. It should also not be used by people with epilepsy or cerebral dysrhythmia, as guarana increases brain activity, and in people with a history of allergy to guarana, as its use can cause shortness of breath and the appearance of skin lesions. Did you like the nature of the Amazon channel? I ask you again to subscribe and activate the bell leave yours. Lay to strengthen the nature of the Amazon channel and share it with your friends and family so they can get to know our history of knowledge and I say goodbye hereby.